So here's your FET lab. Um, a little bit about the interface. You have an object right here. Um, this is a pencil. You have a ruler that we're going to use a lot of. So you can click right there, click ruler. Um, the center, the curvature radius, this is going to change the focal length, the focal distance. So this point right here from here to here on a, this is a convex lens. This point right here, this is the, the this is the focal length. Um, changing the refractive index changes the material that this is, this lens is made of. So it changes the amount of bending. So it's also going to have the same effect. It's going to change the focal length. Diameter, you don't really have to mess with. This is just going to change the size of the actual lens itself. Not really going to do much with the image produced. And we're going to go ahead and just start off. And it says move me. It kind of tells you where to go. And we're going to take the eraser and we're going to print, put, place it on the principal line. It just makes it easier to analyze the object if you do it, or the object versus the image if you do this. And then it says the first step of our lab is to take the object and make sure it's 150 centimeters away. So I'm going to take this ruler, I'm going to place it so it's 150, the lens, the center of the lens is on the 150 point, and the pencil's already there. The pencil's right there, 150 centimeters away. This is your DO in any of the math problems you would do. Uh, next step, uh, rather than having you trying to measure and guess until you get to the focal length right, I, I went ahead and told you, go ahead and make the center of curvature or sort of the curvature radius, not exactly center of curvature, curvature radius, make it 45, take that down to 45, take the index, uh, refractive index to 157, and then take the ruler, and the next thing you have to measure out, and this is just all you'd have to do, take the ruler, move it so that it's the end is right there on the center point, um, and if you take a look, it's about 40 centimeters. If I want to be like right there on the spot that you're measuring, um, it's about 40 centimeters away. That's going to be your F in your in any sort of math you would do. Um, but your focal length itself, that's what it's called, focal length. And the last thing that this lab asks you to do, so put 40 centimeters down if you're doing the lab with me. Um, and then it's asking you where the, what's the distance image. And so the distance image is going to be from the same starting point, but it's going to be to wherever the image forms. Now, the image, if you change things around, the image might form on the other side, but it's going to be the same net effect. You're just taking the measurement, in this case, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's like maybe around, uh, let's say, 54 ish centimeters when you do the math in the later um, sections of this lab you'll you'll get a much more accurate measurement or answer before you actually see it to see if it's correct but that's all you have to do and then uh, when you analyze the image this is the image right here this is the object so if you're holding a pencil in your hand it would be this size well if you were looking at it with a lens it would be a lot smaller so that's going to be reduced it's also inverted if you take a look the pencil tips downwards not upwards like it was in the first place so it's inverted and then lastly light should go through a lens and this is considered the real side of a lens this is considered a vert the virtual side of the lens well the image shows up on the real side so it's going to be a real image so go ahead and complete the lab and and learn a little bit while you're uh, going through the lab